Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now if you still use Windows 7 and you want to be able to get all the convenience roll-ups into that build, so when you install Windows 7 it has all the uh, updates installed on there, then I'm going to show you how to slipstream those into the ISO image. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, someone was asked in a question on my forum and I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to get all the latest uh, convenience uh, roll-ups which Microsoft has released. Now they are f uh, thinking of releasing one big massive uh, file which will have all the updates in it and that's what is in the future but let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go about doing this. So you're going to need to download three files okay, from the Microsoft catalog and these are the KB3020 zero three six nine and the other two numbers here you need to just search for those and download them the way you do that is just go to the www.catalog.update.microsoft.com and you just search for those files like i'm doing here and it will then give you the option to download these files now you can search for any file here this is their catalog and you can see here this is the monthly quarterly roll-up and uh, you need to get the right version uh, for your system. So whether you're using a 64-bit system or a 32-bit system will determine uh, which one you need to download. So you can see here, this is the X64, and uh, that is uh, the version that I'm using. Now, if you don't know what version you're using, obviously you can go down to, I'm on a Windows 10 machine here, uh, but you would just go down to the search box here and type WinVer, and you can click on this, and it will give you the version of Windows that you are running. Yours will say Windows 7 Service Pack 1. That's the version that you need to be running to, to do this, okay? So once you've got those downloaded, you just click on the one that you want to download. In this case, we'll just click on uh, this version here. Click on Download. The box will pop up, and then click on the link here, and it will download that file for you. Once you've got the files downloaded, you then put them into your C root directory where I've got mine. I've got a folder in here called Win7. And that's a simple case of just right clicking in here and make a new folder and name it Win7. Inside here, I'm going to put four more folders. One's called ISO. This is going to be for our Windows 7 Service Pack 1 uh, ISO. We're going to unzip that and put it in there. I'll show you that in a second. This is our mount folder. This is what all the data is going to go into when we mount our uh, information. Updates. These are our updates, which we've just downloaded. And of course, we've got our WIM, which is going to be the WIM file, which is inside here, which we're going to extract in a second. So next up, what we need to do here is I'm just going to extract these files. Now you can either unzip them here or you can mount it and drag them off it's entirely up to you but I'm just going to unzip these and extract them uh, to you can see it's going to this folder here but I want to just change that to let's see I want to go into here and into the ISO and then click OK you can now see it's going into that folder there and that's going to be our Windows 7 um, files just extract those into there and we should be pretty much good to go that will take a minute or so just let that unzip depending on how fast your computer is okay so now we've closed off this okay so let's go into our win7 folder into the iso folder and inside the sources folder here we're looking for install.wim now you can copy this file, this is the install.wim file, into, go back, into your WIM folder here, okay? So once we're in our C root directory here, we can go back into our Win7, and inside your ISO folder, go into where it says sources, and come down to install.wim. This is the file here. This is the file that you want to copy over to your WIM folder. Now you can do this in command prompt if you want to. It's just a simple case of copying and pasting into here. And there we go. 
It's that simple. So we've got that moved into there. Next up, we need to uh, download and install Windows ADK. And uh, you can choose which version you're running. If you're running 1809, uh, then you need to download this version. If you don't know uh, what version you are running, you'll need to right click on your start button, go system, and then come down to where it says about. And you're looking for this here. I'm running 1803, I'm not updated yet. I'll let all the guinea pigs test their uh, software first but if you are running 1803 like myself you just come down the list here and just, just download this version if you're running older versions then they are available to you so we're just going to hit the uh, download button which is here then click run so this is open up this what we need to do now is uh, install it I'm going to drop this down so we can see what we're doing Okay, so you can see that's going to be installed here. So what we're going to do here, we're going to install this. And you can go through here and whatever you want to uh, select here. So I'm just going to install these here. You could just leave these, take some of these ticks out if you don't need them. Let that install. And we can click close here. So what we want to do here is open up our start button and you should see the deployment imaging uh, tools environment here. Right click on this and we're going to go more and run as administrator. So now we should be as an administrator here and we're going to paste in our first command and what this is going to do, you can see here dism, uh, dism uh, mount wim, the wim file which was in our path, win7, wim and then install.wim and it's going to mount that for us. It's going to deploy that and let that mount it and what that's doing is basically mounting this file here it's mounting this file and if we look in our mount folder you will see it's starting to mount this was empty and now it's got all the files from inside that WIM file so we'll just let that uh, mount that up now we can do our commands now the commands that you're going to need to do is these ones here and you need to change these to suit your path and also to suit your needs. Make sure all the spelling is correct and make sure the path is correct, okay? So you can see here, I've got mine as Win7 updates and the folder name, so that would be inside here. So we're just telling it to go to Win7 updates and then the folder name and then the file. So that's all you have to do really is just make sure you've got the path exactly right and the file name. Now these file names may change as they update them and just change them to suit, okay? So first off we're going to be doing the first one. Then this will start to put those in as you can see. Take a bit of time. There we go. We can do the second one and again I will leave all these links in the video description. You may, may need to change and edit these to suit. This is going to add in this one here. We'll just let that go along and put that in there and slipstream it in. This will take a bit of time this one. And you can see now it's starting to uh, process this. It will take a bit of time, so just be patient and let it uh, complete its job. So we have one more to do here. And of course you can add more in if you wish, but we're just going to do this one here. And this is our third one. So just come down 
and push enter and this will slipstream that into that location. Okay, that one's now complete. What we need to do is to dismount it now so you can just copy uh, this command and paste this into uh, your command prompt window here and just let that dismount that um, install.wim file so that'll start to uh, save the image now now it's going to dismount and save it as you can see here and that job is now completed and unmounted uh, you get this uh, popping up I've got this uh, Cronus I'm going to just trust that there we go and it's just unmounting the image now it's saved the image and it'll unmount it if you've got any sort of antivirus software you may want to disable that when you're uh, doing any of this sort of uh, work that's it that's now uh, completed as you can see here now also you can create an ISO image or you can deploy that image using SCCM or MDT and that's a fully patched image right up till October 2016 also you can slipstream other stuff into it if you want to and have one complete image where you could just roll that straight out and that way uh, you don't have to go through all the process of adding other stuff in and taking taking up too much time so it's a lot quicker this way now as you can see here if we go into our folder and take a look at our WIM folder here, we can see our install.wim has got a lot bigger. And uh, what you need to do here is now, if you wanted to, uh, you could copy this straight across. If you wanted to create an ISO image back into your area here into sources and come into here and find your install.wim inside here. And this is the dot old one here. I'm just gonna rename this and paste it here. And there we go. And you can see the size difference. I just wanted to do this to show you. You can see the size difference here. It's quite a considerable amount, and uh, it's all about time, really. So I'm just gonna delete the old one because I don't need the old one. And uh, we've now got a fully patched uh, version here. And if you wanted to, you could uh, use the install.wim file, as I said, and use MDT or SCCM and just use that to install. But if you want to create an ISO, you can also do that as well. I think I'm going to wrap this one up. That's basically how you can fully patch uh, the latest Windows 7 with all the patches on there. Now, also, you can slipstream other stuff in, like I said, Office and all that sort of stuff, if you want to, all the latest patches on that as well. Uh, anyway, have a great weekend. My name is Brian from writetechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.